So now let's create and work with triggers inside of character animator. So in order to work with triggers inside of our character right here, first of all, we need to go on to the rig section and I'm going to do that by double clicking on our rig right here. So now what we can do is we can assign key to these right here. So in order to do that, I'm going to go on to the head. So what I'm going to assign triggers is for the head movement. So I have the frontal head right here. I got the left profile and the right profile. So the, what I want to do is I want to assign triggers to these so that whenever I press a key, the head just turns. So in order to do that, I can go over here on the right and click on create trigger or I can drag these layers directly just like this on the trigger section as you can see and then over here on the left side i can simply assign a key that i want the trigger to happen from so uh, frontal is going to be s and then left is going to be a and right is going to be d just like this so now if i were to go to record right here you can see the head character's head right there keep on holding a and the character turns left let go of A, the character turns back in front. Keep on holding B, the character turns right. Let go of B, the character turns front. That is because the default layer right here, the enable one is the frontal layer, just like this. So now what you can also do is change out the behavior. Instead of uh, having it to hold it, what I can do is I can just go over here and latch on. I don't actually need the frontal right here because uh, the default is the frontal anyways. So for the left, I'm going to enable latch and for the right, I'm going to enable latch as well. So now let's see how that works out. So if I were to go to record right here, if I were to hold and let go of A right here, the character turns left side. If I click on A again, then it goes back to the default position. Click D and then it uh, go, uh, the character turns right, press D again, the character turns front. So that is how it actually works out. So you don't have to keep on holding uh, a button out right here, but you just press it once and it will change the position right there. So it depends on what you want. You want to hold or latch, and depending on that, the color changes as you can see right here. So usually forehead turns and everything to control it like a video game character, I like to let not keep it in last right here. So I can just go around and you can see that just like using my arrow keys, I can just uh, change the head, head turn of the character just like this. And that is how you can create and work with triggers inside of Character Animator. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.